Thank you. Me, like, like I've just been making like some unhealthy choices. So we love by Colleen Hoover. Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Um, so today we are going to the mall and I need to return. Like the reason why we're going is because I need to return something that I got for Christmas. That was just the wrong size. So this is the fit for today. This is from White Fox. And then my crew neck is from H&M. And then this is from Aritzia. And I had to put a toque on today because my hair was so greasy. Like, I'm going to wash it tomorrow or tonight. Not sure. But my hair was so greasy. So, it's like, it's disgusting and it needs to be covered. But it's okay because I was so shocked. Madison came in my room this morning and told me it was snowing. And I was like, I thought we were done with the snow. Like, I thought that our last snowfall was, like, yesterday or two days ago. But it's snowing again. Like, I'm literally so shocked because I had no idea that it was going to start snowing again. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, literally snowing again. I'm so shocked. But I think this will be our last snow, folks. The so temperatures are rising, so. But anyway, so these are the slippers slash shoes that I need to return. I love them, but I just need to get a different size because they're just like a size 8 and I'm usually size 7. So we're just going to go and see. Hopefully they have an exchange. And if they don't, then I'm just going to get a gift card or something so that I can get them another time because I still want them. It's just they're not the right size. So I got to do it before the date is like, you know, expired and it's already been like two weeks since christmas so we gotta go now okay so i actually kind of changed my outfit i'm wearing these just like black flary pants from princess polly because my other pants are just like too warm whereas like we're gonna be in the mall so i feel like i'm gonna get too hot because i have like the puffer on and the sweatpants were really hot so i feel like i don't want to get too hot in the mall you know like it's cold but we're going inside so whatever still cute and still basically the same but yeah we're gonna get some starbucks and i'm gonna show you guys the best hack ever but you can't tell anybody like this is a secret between you and i you can't tell anybody else outside of this like this is like you have to pinky promise me because this is like <coughs> such a good hack that i'm gonna share with you guys so we gotta keep this on the dl okay okay you have to get the app in order to do this hack and i'm gonna shoot and expose your mouth i'm but only to them like they're not gonna tell anybody this is how you get like an iced latte for three dollars and fifty cents because if i ordered it in a different way like just ask for an iced latte it would literally be like seven dollars here like it's so expensive just for like a grande but getting it this way you're kind of just like adding in the steps yourself and it still ends up being the same exact taste and everything like i swear so i'll show you guys how it looks so i can prove it to you okay so here it is on the app so iced espresso um, a double, a grande cup, extra splash of oat beverage, three pumps. Usually in a regular latte, there's four pumps, but I just minimize it to three just because it's a little tiny bit too sweet. And yeah, as you can see, $3.40. I was not lying. And I will show you guys when I get it because I swear this works. But you have to make sure that you put it in a grande cup. That's like the biggest, like, you have to make sure you do that or else it's not, it's gonna like come in like a mini cup or something. I don't know. Okay, I ordered it. Madison's literally going in right now to pick it up and then I'm gonna show you guys. Yay! Thank you. Maybe like stir it. Yeah, why didn't they stir it? I don't know. Maybe it probably just fell to the bottom because it's caramel, so it's thick. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's literally a latte, and it tastes exactly like if you ordered like a caramel or vanilla latte, but it's like literally half the price. So yeah, there's my little hacky hack, and she got sweet cream pulled salt on hers. It's snowing so much. I honestly love the snow, like it's so cute. It's so cute. Yay. Okay, so we just got back from the mall and it is dumping snow and I wanted to get to my car fast because I didn't I don't have like a car scraper in here. So I was like I don't want to come back and then my car be completely like snowed and then it's like we have to scrape it off with like a card or something. So like we gotta get to the car before that happens. But anyways I ended up exchanging them. They had kind of like what I wanted so I'll show you guys when I get home what I got. But yeah we were kind of just in and out. I didn't really want to take like a long time. But anyways my car is just defrosting. The flakes are so big. So now we're just trying to find out what to eat because we were gonna eat in the mall food court. Like it's 2.45 and I haven't eaten anything today. Um, but the coffee's holding over so it's fine. But 
we were gonna have something in the food court but then we got in there and it was so busy like it was like disgustingly like busy like it was kind of gross there were so many people in the food court that it was just like okay we don't want to eat in here so we're just trying to find a place now that we can like pick something up and just like go home because it's snowing so yeah i don't know what we're gonna do we're trying to find a good place well, either way i'm just trying to take in the snow before it goes away because i know that it's not gonna snow all year after this this is definitely like the last snowfall that's gonna happen So right now, me and Madison wanted to do like a big grocery shop because we have just been kind of eating unhealthy. Like I haven't been eating like too unhealthy, like it hasn't been like really bad. Like I've been having my healthy smoothie every morning so that makes me feel a lot better. But we just have, like I've just been making like some unhealthy choices and like that's fine, everything in moderation. But we just want to kind of go to like the big grocery store and do a huge haul of the just like healthier snacks, healthier things that we can have in the house so that it's like we can, it'll help us make better choices <clears throat> because Madison last night had like, what's it called? Acid, acid reflux. No, like indigestion. Indigestion or acid reflux or something really painful and it woke her up. And it may be because she's been eating like shit, like we don't know, but it was just like, that's her sign to start eating healthy so we're gonna try and do this together just yeah, because like I woke up on track 3 30 in the morning with excruciating stomach pain mm -hmm. and she said that the inner walls of her stomach felt like they were burning like burning burning so yeah we're gonna go do a huge massive grocery grocery haul I'll, tr I'll try and give you guys like a haul when we get back just so i can give you guys an overview but i just have a couple things like frozen fruit i need to get more of because I want to keep up my smoothies and yeah we decided that we want to go thrifting before because like the thrifting store and the big grocery store is kind of like near each other so we're gonna do a little bit of thrifting I'm only gonna buy something if I like really like it because one of my new year's resolutions is to stop spending money on clothing because I do get a good amount of clothing sent to me already so it's like me buying clothing on top of that is kind of pointless if I don't need anything but thrifting is kind of a different story so I'm not, like we're just gonna go in there quickly and see if they have anything good but yeah that is the plan for today it's such an icky day outside like it is just raining and just like not a nice day yesterday was sunny but I couldn't even enjoy it because like I was gonna vlog yesterday but I just had like you guys know I have really bad period cramps and it was, it was just a horrible day for that yesterday like I was out the whole day I was dying so today we're feeling a little better I mean my stomach is kind of still hurting but like I'm fine it's like manageable I did book an appointment with a naturopath for tomorrow, so I'm really excited for that. It's quite pricey, but I hope it's worth it because I've tried a lot of things already and nothing's been working. But anyways, we're going to go thrifting and yeah, <clears throat> I'll let you guys know if we get anything good. This is my fit for the day. I'm just wearing this white fox set. This is like literally my favorite set. I just like I'm obsessed with the colors and everything. Let's go. I always make sure to look at the purse section because this purse is actually from here and you know you never know i mean most likely there's not gonna be anything good because it's just like rare but madison did find this one here so now i always make sure to look at the purse section because i never used to do that so yeah but you really have to like look because it's kind of hard to like spot out good ones but as long as you like dig through them then you may find something but i'm obsessed with shoulder bags right now so Okay, another tip is to look like in the cookware and like the trinket section because they actually could have some really nice dishes and stuff like those green ones are brand new and they're so nice like if you guys are moving out or something and just want to find like cheap alternatives then they actually have a lot of stuff you just got to like wash it really well but you know what look there's like so much so much stuff like i honestly would come here if i was like on a budget because it's very good prices and you can probably find some really good things you guys, I'm dead. This is like a giant bottle, daddy sippy cup. It's been a rough day. This is so funny. Like, look at how big that is. That's huge. I could not be more excited right now. I've been trying to find the dairy-free borsen because I love borsen for so long now. 
And they finally have it here because this is like a huge grocery store, so I decided I would check. And I am literally so excited about this. I'll, tell, I'll let you guys know how it is. I'm literally in love with this aisle. It's all like the organic stuff in this section. And like I could literally buy everything because you already know everything looks so good. Definitely expensive, but I just want to I just want to try everything. It's hard to resist. Okay, this is our basket right now. Our cart or whatever. And we bought so many bananas and they're not even ripe, but we're just gonna let them ripen on the counter. And then what I like to do is I like to cut them and then freeze them so that I can put them in my smoothies and or like make banana ice cream because it's like I love making banana ice cream basically you just take frozen bananas and we have this machine that turns it into ice cream like I'm not even kidding I'll show you guys next time I make it but yeah we literally use frozen bananas a lot so buying them in bulk and then cutting and freezing them it's like the best thing to do so that's why we have so many bananas but this is the card so far okay, little overview on what we got so a whole bunch of frozen fruit for our smoothies in the morning that's self-explanatory and we got some kombucha cans just to have in the house because everybody likes a good kombucha and these ones come in a package so they're not as expensive and we're just probably going to keep them in the bar fridge downstairs and we got some teas this is the one that we buy traditional medicinals and we had these chickpeas I've never tried the dill flavor, but we also bought the barbecue flavor. These chickpeas are literally so good. It's such a good, good healthy snack alternative. And Madison noticed that they had dill, so we decided to try it, and they were on sale. So we got four of these because it's still really fast. And I also got some flax seeds to put in my smoothies every morning. And got some ginger tea from Madison's stomach. These are actually really good and healthy got some of those these are actually really good as well and they're healthy we also got these they're plant-based cheddar jalapeno they look so good never tried these ones before so i'm so excited we just got some contacts because we needed some and some kettle dill pickle chips and some sweet potatoes and some salad and spinach and yes pretty much what we got in a bit of bananas you guys, I just tried the dairy-free borsen, and it literally tastes exactly like the real borsen. Like, I'm actually shocked right now. I'm so shocked. Even, like, the texture of it is the exact same. Like, usually, when you have dairy-free cheeses, the texture is a little, like, weird. But this is literally the texture of the normal borsen. Like, I'm shocked. If you guys don't like dairy, if you don't eat dairy, go buy this. Like, this is so good. I'm obsessed Okay, I realized I completely forgot to show you guys the Uggs uh, slippers that I exchanged. So I got black because I figured they didn't have the same color blue, unfortunately. So I got black and I got a size 7 and they fit me perfectly. And they're so cute. I don't know if I'm going to wear them out of the house. I mean, maybe like one summer day if I'm like going to the gym and I just need shoes to slide on. Like that's, I feel like I'll use them for that, like in that scenario and use them outside. But I feel like I'm just going to use them indoors for now and then until i bring them out we'll see i don't know but they are so cute and i'm in love with them <laughs> like look at that like i'm obsessed they're so adorable and i would so wear these out of the house like if it wasn't for them getting dirty i would so do it but they are black which means that it's fine if i wear them out of the house because if they do get dirty then it's not even that big of a deal i just won't wear them on like rainy days but I'll wear it on a day like that I'm wearing just like a chill outfit and I just want like chill shoes to wear with it, you know? So yeah, thank you, Joel. So I got an Amazon package in the mail and I'm pretty sure that it's the next book that I ordered because my New Year's resolution, like one of them was to read a book every single month. And so I need to get on it because it's already like, the, like almost halfway into the month. So I need to read this book, but I'm sure it's not going to be hard to read it because... This is apparently a really good book. So it's called Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. And it, literally, I ordered it within two days. It was at my house. And apparently, this is so good. This is the same author that, from the last book that I read, that's called It Ends With Us. And so I'm so excited because she's an amazing author. The last book that I read was so addicting. Like, I just couldn't stop thinking about the book afterwards. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, you can't stop thinking about, about, about it. Like, it's just so good so i'm so excited to read this one i have no idea what it's about 
I don't really want to read the back just because I want it to be like a surprise. Julia explained it to me because she read it and she explained me to me what it was about but I literally completely forgot because she explained it like a while ago. And yeah, I'm so excited. If you guys want to read this book with me this month, go and get it and we can read it together because apparently it's like the literal best book. So I'm so excited and I'm so excited just to like get in, into reading and grow like a book collection. Okay, so I actually got a second package in the mail sorry you guys are bouncing on the box right now because i just opened it but summer fridays sent me some products i'm so excited so thank you so much um summer fridays for sending me these products like this is a dream come true i was listening to them because they were a guest on this podcast called pretty basic and they were just kind of talking about their brand their two fem female co-founders of the brand and just like the way they built it and stuff is so inspiring I've always heard that their um jet lag mask is really really good so I reached out to them and they were kind enough to gift me some products. But they sent me their CC Me Serum, their Super Amino Gel Cleanser, and their Jet Lag Mask. And I'm so excited to try these. I will, I think I'm going to do a Lisa jet, jet Lag Mask tonight and let you guys know how it is. But I know that their like ingredients are super, super good and yeah, I'm just so excited. And the packaging is so freaking cute. Take a look. I'll show you guys. Also, the box is really cute. It's just like simplistic. The color scheme. It's literally everything I want in my life. Like, this is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I will let you guys know how they are, but I'm sure they're going to be amazing. Just realized filming those clips in the background, I literally had a stack of laundry. I'm actually going to do my laundry right now because it's got to be done. As you can see, it's, the bin is overflow. So we're, I think this will just be one load of lights. So I'm just going to do that quickly. I've been really wanting to get back into gymming, but unfortunately all of the gyms are shut down. I don't even know for how long. But I just hope that they reopen again because honestly, in my opinion, gyms should be 100% essential. It's for your health. Like, gyms are so good for people's mental health, their physical health. And oh, I just want to go to the gym so bad. I just really want to, like, work out and stuff at the gym. It's just such a good, nice environment. That's my ECA. And I don't really, like, have, like, workout equipment at home. I know I can do, like, at-home workouts, but they just don't hit the same. You know what I mean? They just really don't hit the same. Bring back the gem. I'm also about to get my room just like a quick tidy. It's not really that messy. Like there's really nothing on the floor here. It's just kind of like a couple of random things that are just shoved around. I'm just going to give my room a quick cleanup because if I leave it, then I already know that this is just going to get worse and worse and worse as the week goes on. So we have to nip it in the butt right away. Do 10 minutes of cleaning and this will literally all be cleaned. And then one load of laundry and should be Gucci. <laughs> Okay guys, so realize I never ended this video, so I'm ending it right now because I honestly hate doing videos without outros because I just feel like I need to say bye, like I just miss you guys, like I need to say bye. Anyways, so I planning on starting to read the book tonight, so I'll update you on how it is. Secondly, um, I will update you on how I like the Summer Friday products because I just want to use them for like at least a week and then do a little review for you guys, so I will let you guys know and update you guys. And my room is clean. We cleaned it. It's nice and fresh. I also decided to... <laughs> I got, like, so many sweatsuits now that I didn't have room in these, these like, shelvings here. So I kind of just, like, this space that I'm not using anymore here because I got rid of, like, some shit. I just, like, have a pile of sweatsuits here. <laughs> it looks really funny, but you know what? You got to make it work. And it works, so... We love it. And I'm obsessed with my Uggs. Like, they're so comfortable. But yeah, anyway, so I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And yeah, see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.